mitochondria produce most of the energy our cells use, and they do this by moving electrons through a chain of proteins. Normally, electrons should only move when two molecules are close enough for a direct transfer. But inside mitochondria, some of these molecules are slightly too far apart for classical physics to explain how electrons cross that gap. Even then, the reaction happens quickly. The reason is quantum tunneling. In tunneling, an electron behaves more like a wave than a particle. Instead of climbing over an energy barrier, it can pass through it and appear on the other side. Mitochondrial proteins are arranged so that important electron-carrying sites sit at distances where tunneling becomes possible. Even a small shift in spacing can change the speed dramatically, which shows how precisely evolution has arranged these structures. Although quantum effects usually fade fast in warm and noisy environments, the tightly packed proteins inside mitochondria keep the electron pathway stable enough for tunneling to happen again and again. This helps electrons move quickly along the chain, allowing mitochondria to pump protons and drive ATP synthase efficiently. Without tunneling, this flow would slow down and the cell would not be able to produce energy at the level complex organisms require. Scientists still study how long these quantum states last, but there is strong evidence that tunneling is a normal part of biological electron movement. And the idea is now influencing new research in energy technology, where engineers try to copy the way mitochondria move electrons so effectively. Quantum tunneling may be invisible, but it is one of the small advantages that helped evolution build fast, reliable energy systems inside living cells.